right? So we think Alex is wrong. We want we want to know what you guys think. We want you to help us out. TV. Uh, so we just got back from church. Uh, we're doing some cleanup, uh, cleaning the church so we can have a service there tomorrow. So now we are ready to make a video again. So today we're going to talk about Alexa and we're going to talk about what she can do, what kind of stuff that you can ask her. I'm going to put in some videos in there that St. Bob uh, did with Alexa and there you go you guys have enjoyed Alexa how far is the Sun from the earth the Sun's distance is 93 million miles 150 million kilometers Alexa who's the first president of the United States the first U.S. president was George Washington. So what's a hundred plus two billion? One hundred plus two billion equals two billion one hundred. Alexa, tell me a kid joke. Two atoms are walking down the street when suddenly one says, oh no. I think I just lost an electron. The second atom asks, are you sure? The first atom answers, yes, I'm positive. <laughs> Alright guys, so you guys enjoy those uh, three videos saying about asking about the sun, asking about uh, history, the first person of the United States, and also you can even ask Alexa a joke and Alexa will tell you a joke. So, another thing Alexa can do, it's a really good one, Alexa can solve math problems. And watch this video. Alexa, what's zero plus zero? Zero plus zero equals zero. Hmm. Alexa, what's three times three? Three multiplied by three equals nine. Alexa, what's sixteen uh, plus a hundred? Sixteen plus one hundred is one hundred sixteen. So what's a hundred plus two billion? One hundred plus two billion equals two billion one hundred. Alright, so you guys seen that. Alexa's incredible when doing math problems. I mean, she can even do billions, billions. I mean, my calculator won't even do that. But just keep in mind that if you have a first grader or a kindergarten and they have math homework, make sure be with them when they're doing the homework. Or if you're too busy, you're doing something else. Don't leave them with this. Because they can answer all the questions. Right. Right. By asking Alexa. And we don't want that because, you know, we want them to learn their basic math skills when they're young. We are too, we are too much into electronics nowadays. I mean, we're surrounded by a whole lot of electronics. So we don't want to rely on electronics too much. So, just keep in mind. Alright guys, so another thing I like about Alexa is you can even ask Alexa about and just about anything but also you can even ask her about Bible verse right so if you guys don't know what John 3 16 you guys appreciate to find out because I'm gonna put a video up there me asking Alexa what's John 3 16 Alexa what is John 3 16 according to the King James Bible John 3.16 reads, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Alright guys, so you, so you can see Alexa can even answer that question about Bible verses and stuff like that. So that's a real like about Alexa. Alright guys, so you've seen what Alexa can do. Alexa can basically, you can ask her random question. You can ask her about history. You can ask her about uh, math problems. And she can even tell you a joke. So, um, one last thing that Alexa, that we ask Alexa, and we think that Alexa is wrong, right? Yeah. So, before we get to that, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about me. Alright, so, I've been here in the pet. I've lived here for almost 13 years now. Uh, I'm originally from the Philippines. They will move from the Philippines to the United States. We stay 10 days in Hayward, California with my godparents, Christina and Roberto Mandriel. Great people. Love them. Um, then we moved from Hayward, California, all the way up to Lafayette, Tennessee. And we still got Aunt Cherry. Also great people. Really great. So, alright. So, we're getting into this, alright? So, I want to ask Alexa, what's the weather for tomorrow? Right? So, I went and asked Alexa that question. And, watch the video. Alexa, what is the weather for tomorrow in Lafayette, Tennessee? Hmm, I don't know that one. Alexa, what is the weather for tomorrow in Lafayette, Tennessee? Which city in Tennessee? Lafayette. Alexa, what is the weather for tomorrow in Lafayette, Tennessee? Which city in Tennessee? Which city in Tennessee? Lapet, Tennessee, 37083. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding. Please start over. Alright, as you can see, Alexa clearly does not recognize what I'm saying. Every time I try to ask her what's the weather for tomorrow in Lapet, Tennessee, she does not recognize it. So, it hit me because I remember one somebody told me one time that you know why am I pronouncing Lafayette Lafayette it should be pronounced Lafayette and that person wasn't even from around here you know I know people that born and raised here in Lafayette call this place Lafayette I mean I've been here almost 13 years I met my wife here so I was born and raised here and he calls this place what Lafayette Lafayette right so Went ahead out of curiosity, so went ahead and asked Alexa, what's the weather for tomorrow in a different pronunciation of the bed. See what she thinks, right? So watch the video. Alexa, what is the weather for tomorrow in Lafayette, Tennessee? Tomorrow in Lafayette, Tennessee, there will be lots of sun with a high of 65 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. Alright, so there you have it, right? Alexa thinks Lafayette should be pronounced Lafayette. And if you have a Fire Stick TV and you have Alexa and you want to know what's the weather for Lafayette, you're going to have to pronounce it Lafayette for, for her to actually understand you, right? So we think Alexa is wrong. We want, we want to know what you guys think. We want you to help us out. Comment below to see, you know, comment below what do you think Lafayette should be pronounced. Should it be pronounced Lafayette or should it be pronounced Lafayette. Lafayette. So, on our next video, we're going to do a part two videos of this one. Me and Zion's going to go out at Lafayette Walmart and we're going to do an interview. We're going to ask random people how to pronounce Lafayette. So stay tuned on that one, but we still want to hear from you guys out there online. If you guys are from Macon County, you lived here for the longest time, you have your parents, grandparents, great grandparents, ask them, when did we start calling Lafette Lafette, or has it always been like that? So, help us out. And don't forget, 
subscribe on Sounds Videos. Mm -hmm. Thank you.